Hi to all and welcome again to YouTube channel Ministry of 3D. Today we are going to try to repair a broken wall that was located at my home. So first of all I took a picture of that broken wall. This is the piece that was broken. So our next step is creating a 3D model that was equal to this one, the broken part. So right now we are navigating to SolidWorks. We are going to use SolidWorks to create a 3D model. Here is a finished 3D model. But right now I'm going to create a new one to explain you. Before going to draw anything, you first need to take all the dimensions that you need right now. But I did it previously, so I'm going to skip that step. In this tutorial I'm going to use an option that is called Revolve Boss Base. So you will see how it works. We're going to create a small chamfer right here. And then simply navigate it to option Revolve Boss Base. After that as the axis of revolution I'm going to choose the center line as you can see. And then simply click OK. After that we have our 3D model. Right now, after we have our finished 3D model, we are going to uh, save it as STL and then later import it into Cura, slice it and 3D print it. One thing I must mention before exporting the STL file, let me name it like... Oh, oh. You must define options. In these options, it is very important to define the quality of the STL file because uh, you can see here it is important to define the resolution as you can see the edges will not be circular but if you choose fine or custom it will be good so I'm going to choose custom my sliders are okay and I'm going to save the desktop Let's save and that's all after that we need to navigate to CUDA And then simply move that ball wall to the drawing plane. So one thing that I must mention is uh, let me use some scale right here because I didn't draw it by the dimensions. One thing I meant mention here is that the original model that I created was created with 100% infill and also I place this model in this direction so I don't need any kind of support. When I click prepare it will slice the model. And then we should receive something like this. So no need for support or anything else. Right now I'm going to release this model to 3D printer to transfer it G code and then later I'm going to show you the final product. Thank you very much.